right, in this video we are going over the four editing secrets that small channels, maybe just like you, learn too late. You gotta get the I am so excited you join me today as we get into the four editing secrets that small channels just seem to learn too late. Okay, the first editing secret is a hook. You got to hook them early. So they're scrolling through the videos, they come across your video, they see a thumbnail, they see a title, they click on it, and what do you do in the first 10 seconds? You start skateboarding with your buddies in the background. No. You put together a beautiful thumbnail, you put together a beautiful title, they actually clicked! Now you hook them in. All right, you tell them exactly whatever it was that you told them in the title of the video. You start to bring that those things to fruition immediately. You hook them in, you bring them in, and then you start to tell them what it is that they clicked on the video for. Immediately get into it. So the first thing is the hook. As soon as it starts the video, if your video is, hey, four editing secrets that we're going to talk about, boom, immediately start talking about the first secret. So you can hook people and then give them an idea of what you're going to be discussing in the video. And doing this will make your retention go up because people will know what they are expecting. For instance, if I tell you there's four things that I want to talk about in the video, you have an idea of how long you have to watch the video for before you're like, I'm out of here. If there's four things, let them know and start documenting. This is thing number one. This is thing number two. This is thing number three. And this is thing number four. And hey, I want to give you a little bit of extra since you stuck around with me this long. So maybe you give them a little bonus tip number five. If you stick around, I'm going to give you a fifth editing secret as well. So make sure you stick around. That brings us to Editing secret number two. Editing secret number two is simple cuts, okay? There's something called cutting in and there's something called cutting out or cutting back. This adds interest, okay? If I'm just sitting here the whole time like this, hey, thank you for coming to my video, and I'm doing that for any longer than a few seconds, you are gone. You're gonna leave, people are gonna leave. So you could have a just a static shot like this, but if in editing, you just zoom it in just a little bit, even 15%, 20% uh, for a couple seconds and then zoom it out a little bit, people think something is happening um, different. And so it makes them still more interested. Okay, let's get into the third tip. The third tip is simple movement and different angles. So if I'm shooting at this angle the whole time and the camera's not moving in or out, you're gonna start to get bored. But what if I shoot from the side? Hey guys, like this, or from the back. Well, the back's no good, but you get it. So shoot from different angles, from different spots, okay, to keep things interesting. Have the camera moving a little bit, moving in or moving out, it makes things interesting as well. And the fourth tip is about B-roll, okay? So what B-roll is, so this right now, this you and I talking, this is considered A-roll. This is primary footage, okay? This is you and I having a discussion. Now, if we're talking about something like say we were ta say I was talking about the Los Angeles Lakers or LeBron James, I might have his picture flash on the camera. If I'm talking about Christian music, I might have a cross pop up on the screen. If I'm talking about Justin Bieber, you better believe his picture is going to pop up on the screen, right? And it just keeps it interesting to have some B-roll going on around you. So if you're talking about skateboarding, maybe you have skateboarding footage in the background. If you're talking about snowboarding or skiing, maybe you have those different things in the background to keep the viewer engaged so it's not just one static shot. Those things work in the 90s okay and maybe the 2000s but they don't work anymore you want movement right you want movement you want changes you want b-roll going on in the background you don't just want a static shot hello i'm gonna tell you boring things please keep watching please subscribe please no you don't want that, right? 
And so you have to make sure in your videos that you have different shots going on. You have different things popping up on the screen. You have B-roll. You have different angles maybe that you're shooting at. And of course your original hook as well. The fifth and final editing secret is music, okay? Having, again, someone just sit and talk without music maybe coming on in the background, it's going to be difficult to have a high retention rate on that, right? But just adding a little bit of music to the situation can make you feel like partying, yeah! can make you make it can change things up a little bit it makes it feel good look at the difference of these two music scenes hey guys I want to tell you about the four editing secrets that are going to completely transform your situation and take you from the bottom all the way to the top now let's change the music hey guys I want to tell you about the four editing secrets that are going to completely change your situation and take you from the bottom all the way to the top the red carpet's going to roll out for you you're going to be incredible. You're going to be on TV. They're all going to love you. Perhaps I went a bit too far. If you want to see how much money I made in my first 30 days, check out that video above. Do it right now.